Hi, my name is Sergio and I will show you how we created our call center using SoftX Pen software and uh, Xlite. Uh, what we used is only one computer uh, with uh, SSD disk. It's basically just a normal computer. Why we use an SSD disk is just to make it faster, just in case. Uh, it has uh, four gigabyte of RAM. It's just a plain normal uh, PC, probably a bit stronger not, uh, than the average one. Uh, what we used uh, from the equipment is we used normal uh, four port hubs and then we used uh, some USB uh, adapters which we're going to show you later on uh, and both uh, cost like the USB port costs maybe five euro and the, uh, the, the same goes for the sound card. And uh, what else do we need for each workstation we need uh, a keyboard and of course a monitor and a mouse. We connected uh, each of these hub ports because it's a, it's a four uh, hub port. We connected one USB uh, slot to, to one USB slot in the computer. Uh, keep in mind, the compu since we are using uh, six stations, actually here you can see just five, but actually the system supports up to eight. We don't have enough space here to have six. Uh, we have three graphic cards in the computer, which means that we have six uh, uh, graphical outputs. So we just connected the USB to the computer and uh, connected the VGA cable to the monitor. Actually, we connected the monitor in the computer. We're going to show you that later on. Then we connected the USB uh, keyboard, connected the mouse, and connected a, the sound card that I already showed you. Uh, when we connected all this equipment, the next stage was to install uh, the software and uh, my colleague Alexander is going to show you how we did that and how we are successfully using this uh, SoftExpand software uh, in combination with Xlite uh, softphone application for our call center activities. Thank you. And now I'm going to show you how we uh, did the, the mapping of the equipment connected to one computer. Uh, to work on five, in this example, five workstations. Uh, we had to create uh, different uh, user profiles uh, for every workstation. So, uh, as in normal Windows, you have options to have uh, several accounts. We did a separate account for each workstation. Uh, the second phase was we installed the uh, VoIP software. We are currently using Xlite software for our uh, phoning. Um, after we did that, then came the mapping process. Now I'm going to show you how this mapping process is uh, done in uh, SoftExpand. Now I'm going to uh, log in into our SoftExpand uh, uh, application, uh, where the mapping has to be done. Now the workstation number one. Uh, First time each user logs uh, onto his workstation, um, he has an option to map his uh, or hers uh, keyboard and mouse to that workstation. This kind of screen pops up and this screen uh, gives you an option to map your keyboard and the mouse to your workstation. How to, how to do that? You have two options. One is with keyboard only and one is uh, done by key mouth, uh, keyboard and mouse combination. What you have to do, you have to check for your workstation ID that pops up. Each workstation connected to the main computer has its own ID. This uh, ID of this workstation is uh, number one. So what I do is I press both uh, control uh, tabs on my keyboard. After that, I press number one, since this is the workstation number one. And then I press the both mouse buttons at the same time. So what I did here was map this, this keyboard and this mouse to this workstation. See here now is the uh, configuration of the SoftExpand software uh, on this uh, computer. Uh, and you can see I have all my workstation listed. Uh, in this case, I have 
I have an option to include another workstation, but we have only five workstations here. Uh, so we can check the configuration of each workstation by clicking on to configure button. Assigning of uh, a specific equipment to a certain workstation is done actually with a drag and drop, a drag and drop uh, process. Uh, on, the um, on the upper side you can see all available equipment and on the lower side you can see which equipment is used by which computer. So with the process of excluding some devices and reassigning them to different workstations, we finally mapped each workstation with its unique hardware. What we had to do at the last stage uh, of this process was assign each account, each XLite account with its dedicated uh, hardware settings. For instance, if we mapped, let's say, microphone number 9 to this workstation, I also have to map microphone number 9 to this XLite account.